This video is sponsored by Squarespace, but more about them later. All of these drawings were born from seeing this one artwork. I was nine years old, I just moved into a new school, and as I walked into a classroom, I saw this work on the wall. My nine-year-old mind was completely captured. And I wasn't the only one. From Christopher Nolan's Inception to Rick and Morty, or even the Red Hot Chili Peppers, the artwork of this artist has captured and inspired so many creatives. And yet, at the time, he was barely accepted as an artist. The man behind these works is MC Escher. Escher was celebrated by mathematicians more than anyone else, and yet he didn't study maths. He was an artist, a designer. He seemed to not belong anywhere. Art communities at the time were more interested in absurdist art than Escher's meticulous renderings. His work was surreal, but he wasn't a surrealist. His reality-bending renderings not quite fitting the mold. You would sooner find Escher's work in a university mathematics class than you would an art class. I don't belong anywhere. I hover between maths and art. It's his organizing of the world, taking order, turning it into chaos, and bringing it back again, which completely fascinates us. Escher's grasp on the world was so strong, he could play with it and mold it, tipping reality on its side and folding it back in on itself, creating impossible scenes, touching on infinity in a visual representation that captivated the world of maths more than art. I started to seek Escher out when I was in primary school, drawn to books that featured his work. Whenever I was in the library, I tried to find his books, renting out the same book over and over again. For me, it was his impossible technique, let alone his impossible composition. The older I got, I started to appreciate new things about Escher. I started to recognize his influence in the world around me, in wallpapers or in movies, of course in my own work, but sometimes subconsciously, I'd see his influence one of my favorite pieces of Escher's work is this one right here. A simple and playful manipulation of different realities. It feels like this idea is so simple and so polished and so rewarding. It's accessible on so many levels. Not only is the concept so stimulating, but the meticulous detail in which he rendered the hands is so rewarding to look at. And I think that that's something that Escher can help artists strive towards, to have every aspect of the piece stimulating or inspiring from its concept, its simplicity and elegance, right down to just the rendering of the artwork. I chose this piece to pay tribute to. It encapsulated so much of Escher and so much of how he's inspired me. In my rendition of this work, I used my mother's hands, who is also a huge inspiration. And that felt like a, a beautiful marriage of worlds that have inspired me. I held Escher at a distance. I didn't try to emulate his work. It felt too unreachable. From time to time, I'd dip my toe in and I'd pay tribute, but mostly I left him alone to simply inspire. When I look at Escher's work, I'm humbled. There's a huge sense of wonder, trying to imagine how someone might go about making sense of all this complexity, making order of chaos with precision to a fraction of a millimeter, and then to realize that his work is mostly lithography, etching, or woodcuts which is the painstaking process of scratching into a material and then pressing that material into prints. If pencil was hot butter, Escher's process would be like trying to spread frozen butter onto soft bread. His work is a tribute to labor. Hard work was no stranger to Escher. His practice screams of slow planning and meticulous precision. His art feels like a window out of this reality where the building blocks are played with. When I look at Escher's work, I feel like a veil has been temporarily lifted exposing the building blocks of our reality, the chaos, the structure, and how fragile the solution might be. Before in this video, I just want to give a quick shout out to this video sponsor, Squarespace. I've been working with them for a couple of years now and they've played a huge role in my career, not only sponsoring these videos and helping me maintain this channel, but more importantly, early on in my career, I was looking for a way to showcase my work. I didn't have time to learn HTML to try and figure out how to build a beautiful, neat website, but I found that Squarespace did all of that effortlessly. I never had to patch or upgrade anything. I could register a domain with them or set up an online store. And most importantly, I could design a portfolio and show my work the way that I wanted to. Also, every time I got stuck, their amazing support team helped me out instantly. So if you're looking at building a website, give Squarespace a try. And if you decide that you love them, use the software code and get 10% off your first purchase. There we go. I hope you guys found this video interesting. Escher has 
inspired me for my entire career. He's right up there for me with the best of the best. Yeah, my appreciation for this artist is just like, I can't, uh, <laughs> I can't really express it. But I hope that this can kind of just capture some of the magic that I experienced my whole life through this artist's work. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. It helps the channel out in a huge way. As always, thanks for the support, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.